G'day mate, how you going? Welcome back for some more green and gold. Rightio, so, she's a funny old day today, eh? You know, overcast, a little bit of a southeasterly going on. And it's gotta be those high teens, so, uh, yeah. But you know what they say, a bad day in the lawn beats a good day at work every time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lean into it, man. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, the tiff tuff's not looking too bad behind me there, in that uh, section by the bay window. But if I spin around here, oh boy. Yeah, the old chicken pox are back, man, me dollar spot. So, um, I am finding it, a little bit difficult to knock this year um, essentially I'm attributing it to this English summer that we're having you know it's been overcast and low temperatures we've been struggling to hit 30 let alone uh, you know the nice 35s and 40s we all love so um, yeah but you know we'll get on top of it eventually so what I do want to do today though is uh, we've got a little bit of a, an invasive lawn issue going on here out the front which I want to try and tackle today with a little bit of non-selective herbicide if you know what I mean <laughs> Let's jump down there and have a look, eh? Mate, check out the tiff tuff. It's this dark green color, man. It's nice and deep. I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. Um, I've picked up my height of cut as well. It's sort of around that 18, 20 millimeter mark, and it just seems to be absolutely loving it there, eh? So I reckon that's where I'll keep it the rest of the season. I do notice uh, the start of some seed head as well. Uh, to me, that seems a little bit early. Like, I mean, I know we've been having it all season, but it seems a little bit early to start stressing out over no heat, so. Um, mate, say la vie. Anyway, have a look here. Who's this little scallywag? This little rat bag that's popped up in me lawn here. So you might not be able to see that too well. It's a, uh, it's a bit of kaiku, so uh, it's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, say la vie. So what I'm gonna do is actually paint on a little bit of Roundup. So I hear you ask, hey Dan, why are you painting it with Roundup? Why don't you just pull it out? Well, I could pull it out, and uh, there's a potential that I might leave of it, some of it behind which is no good, man, I don't wanna do that because there could be some residual uh, rhizomes or stolons that I miss, some roots, and it'll just regenerate. So I'm going to paint that on today. So uh, yeah, like I said, I've got a little bit of non-selective herbicide here, and uh, we're gonna paint that on with a nice fine paintbrush. So I've just robbed one of the cook's finest paintbrushes, just over here. <clears throat> now, two things to be aware of. This is an open container, so don't, whoa, don't spill it on your lawn, man. And um, also be aware of where you've painted. What you don't want to do is um, is step on it with your boots and then start marching it around the yard. So um, I normally like to say do things in two directions, but in this instance, I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to march up and down the yard and uh, make sure that we're only sort of working from the outs, uh, from the inside out, so that we work our way off of the lawn essentially. So what I'm going to do. Uh, this is supposed to be, uh, for the treatment of Kaiku, Roundup recommends 10 millimeters per litre. Um, however, you know, I've only got this little sort of container here, so I'm probably going in a little bit rich. <laughs> and we're just going to paint it on the leaf, uh, leaf nice, nice and carefully. Um, you can use an eyedropper for this. I'm not going to in this instance because I don't trust myself not to get the, the tiff tough and uh, all my fine motor skills, mate, eh? you know what I mean? So I'm just going to paint it on today. Um, yeah, so I'll just pull that out of the road so you can see what's going on. But we're just gonna we're gonna try and nail the leaf as best we can, and try and avoid try and avoid the tiff tuff. Might pay to try and sort of pull it up a little bit, isolate it from the tiff tuff, and have another go. So. Yeah, that's working a bit better. So I've just isolated the plant there. I haven't got too much on my brush either because I don't want to drop it on the tiff tuff. And just do your best Leonardo da Vinci, mate. Get in there and paint a few leaves. Roundup do recommend a few minimum PPE requirements being gloves and uh, a face mask. I don't have any gloves, but uh, I do have this old hurdy gurdy here. So let's roll around, start painting them up. Thank you. 
<laughs> Radio. There we go. All done with the roundup. So you may have noticed that I kicked off the old Lambafides halfway through. <laughs> Basically, I uh, reckon I had the potential that I trod in some of the roundup while making a camera angle change. So, hey, let's kick them off. I've given them a rinse with water, so I should be sweet now. Um, when you are going through that, trying to identify kook kaiku, either in your Tiff Tuff or your Santa Ana or other any other cooch, basically, I noticed that the, um, the kaiku was more of a lime green colour than a nice dark green colour. So, um, also, the leaf blade is quite a lot thicker. Uh, you know, it might be double or three times as thick as a, as a cooch leaf. So keep that in the back of your mind while you're uh, trying to identify it. So while we're out here, I thought I'd give you an update on the old uh, Kaikia, how she's bouncing back after that fertilizer app. So uh, it's looking pretty good. I am seeing a nice color. So uh, sections that were relatively healthy have like gone a nice dark green color with the iron that's sort of taken up and it's, it's looking really good. And we're sort of starting to see some color bounce back as well in some of the stressed out areas. So, uh, so pretty chuffed at the moment. In terms of recovery rate, I'd say we're about 50% there. So I reckon a nice two or three weeks of good weather, we should be back to it. Um, what I reckon I might do now is because the root zone is, is under stress, uh, you know, it's probably still recovering. I might shift to now like a foliar application of fertilizer. Essentially because the mole crickets have gone and eaten half the root zone, I don't want to flood the soil profile with nitrogen and then have, have half of it leach out. So I'll be moving to a foliar app uh, next week. Rightio, let's get out to Scotty and get a mow on. start rolling with your cylinder mower it is so important to check your reel to bed knife adjustment you know we've all been there man eh? you know what i mean ah, i'm just going for a cheeky mo you know just gonna risk it for the biscuit but it's no bueno man don't do it because like uh in the best case scenario you don't actually cut anything that's best case worst case is um you have premature wear on your reel or your bed knife uh because there's too much contact and then uh, you need to send her away for a grind or um or you start warping your bed knife. So do yourself a favor, man. Just take the five minutes to check it. Radio.
it's finally great to see some recovery in the Kaiku, which is nice. I must admit, it's been a long time coming. So, um, yeah, that fertilizer app did really knock it into shape. Even from last week, I'm sort of starting to see some really good progress, which is rad. I mean, there are some shabby spots, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but uh, we're probably four weeks away over here with some decent weather, and we should be sweet. However, over on the ramp, it's a different story, mate. Eh? It's looking a lot better. Still room for improvement, but it's looking a lot better. Sort of the midsection there that got the mole crickets the worst is still bouncing back. But I'm thinking sort of two weeks away from a full recovery there, which is good. Um, next week. Next week, I reckon we'll give her a groom and uh, a little bit of a foliar fert, like I mentioned before. We're going to duck in the shed real quick, though. Alrighty, before we sign off, I just thought I'd give uh, Brenton a shout out from the Aussie Lawn. BK was generous enough to send down one of his finest adhesive logos in. <laughs> so I'm going to stick it on the wall. I was going to try and stick it on my backpack spray, but I was like, man, that thing is just a hunk of shit. I'm not going to keep it. So we'll start off with the wall here. I'm going to try and get it nice and square, see how we get on. <laughs> Hopefully that's uh, plump. I don't know. <laughs> All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked mad favour and take it easy. I'll chat you on.